The world is on the brink of new clean energy revolution, and it's bringing new life to a region that's been fueling America for more than a century. As lithium becomes more critical, powering everything from electric cars to smartphones, demand is skyrocketing for rare earth elements found deep under mineral-rich East Texas. And we find News Nation's Xavier Walton in Dallas, Texas with the details. Xavier, some of the biggest names in oil are now getting in on this new frontier. Hannah, good morning. That's exactly right. The days of major energy producers just digging for oil. Uh, it's kind of a thing of the past, and now they're going after things like lithium or rare earth minerals, investing billions in what many believe or many are calling um, a modern-day gold rush, if you will. So um, companies like Chevron, Halliburton, Exxon are racing to open lithium mines in East Texas where they've been you know, drilling for more than a century. Lithium, I mean, you just kind of mentioned this, but used for just about everything. So phones, laptops, electric vehicles, wind turbines, micro trips, even cruise missiles. But the U.S. doesn't produce enough lithium or other, you know, critical minerals to meet its clean energy needs, at least not yet. A major discovery last month changing that to a degree. The most lithium-rich fluids ever found in North America were spotted in a massive brine deposit called the Smackover Formation. That rock formation uncovered roughly 20 years ago stretches from East Texas into Arkansas to the Florida Panhandle. Experts say the region quickly becoming one of the central hubs for U.S. lithium production. And in 10 years, it could be the nation's largest domestic source. The U.S. Geological Survey says, you know, the Arkansas portion alone could contain enough lithium to meet global demand for car batteries nine times over. Think about that. Right now, China is the third largest producer and processor of lithium, posing serious economic and national security risks. But the smackover discovery could actually help change all of that. It's all imported from China right now. Um, and they do have the ability, if they stop export, um, which was recently announced that we're going to really restrict the export of it, um, it could grind our economy to a halt in, in a matter of months. So Douglas Wicks, that's the gentleman you just heard from, says with the support of Department of Energy, you know, the U.S. could start significantly reducing lithium imports from China by 2027, which, you know, um, many believe this domestic boom can't come fast enough. Hard to believe uh, roughly 90% coming from, from China.